Here at Hampshire Hospitals, we're um, really at the forefront of um, osteotomy surgery, um, certainly in Europe, if not in, in, in the world. The British view on osteotomy in the last 10 to 20 years has not been good, and this is historical. So before we had knee replacements 30, 40 years ago, an osteotomy to crudely realign the leg was all that was open to surgeons. The surgery was very simple. Um, it was um, usually involved just one osteotome or a chisel, which was struck against the side of the bone, which was broken and then visibly manipulated and then held in plaster. And with that sort of surgical technique and that sort of fixation, in other words, a plaster, and the rehabilitation that then followed after two months in a plaster, the patients did very badly. The principle hasn't changed. We're realigning the legs, but we're doing them on patients who are younger, who've got earlier arthritic disease, not severe arthritis, which these days we'd still do a knee replacement for. And the technique has been much improved, and that's happened mainly in Europe over the last 15 to 20 years. And we've learnt at the Hampshire Hospitals from the Europeans, and in fact for five years we've run our own masterclass, which is a European surgical teaching tool, um, learning from and teaching other surgeons. So we're very unusual because we've adopted and embraced this operation, and we've opened up the indications to the point now where we are really quite aggressive particularly with people that come to us with earlier disease, where their joint's already beginning to fail. And we know as knee surgeons that the absolute key to any successful meniscal surgery, joint surface surgery, or offloading procedure is to get the alignment right. Osteotomy. The surgical cutting of a bone or removal of a piece of bone to shorten, lengthen, or change its alignment. This is a patient who's had an osteotomy on the right leg and it has bilateral problems. He's got the same problem on the left leg. And what this is is a planning x-ray. So what you can see are his legs from the hip to the knee to the ankles. The one with the metal plate and screws in has had an osteotomy a couple of years before. But if you follow the plumb line, which is a mechanical axis from the centre of somebody's hip to the centre of their ankle, where that falls to the knee should be relatively central or neutral. But if we zoom in on this, and I'll do that slowly in a second, you can see that his mechanical axis, or the majority of his weight, falls through the inner aspect of his knee, which is the damaged aspect, or the early arthritis. And that's something that's going to progress. So if I slowly zoom in on that, and you focus on the knee joint, you can see the mechanical axis actually falls well into the medial aspect, or inner aspect of his knee, and that's putting pressure on that painful part of the knee. So the aim of an osteotomy is to realign the leg away from bow-legged into slightly knock-kneed, or what we would call valgus. And we do that with, with digital planning software, so we look at the angles we want to achieve and plan it. We essentially make a surgical cut in the bone, an angled cut in the tibia across, and open it, so you're opening a wedge out and realign the bone to the precise amount, and then that's fixed inside with a plate and screw as much as though we fix fractures. So looking at these six-week long leg alignment films, you can see there's a plate and screws holding the osteotomy. The way we do this is by making an accurate saw cut in the bone and slowly wedging it open to a set number of millimetres or degrees. And by doing that, we're creating a new alignment. And that's a high tibial osteotomy with opening wedge. So we're opening up a wedge in the bone. And that's then fixed with the plate and screws. If we then drop the mechanical axis down, you can see... Again, if I slowly magnify that, you can see that it now drops through into the outer part of the knee. So rather than dropping through the inner side, it's dropping through the outer side. And you can actually see here where we've opened up the wedge of bone and how the plate and screws is holding that. And that will consolidate or fill in with new bone over the weeks. It feels like your knee. It's a natural thing. You feel more normal. Does it give you a normal knee afterwards? No, it makes your knee feel much more comfortable. Won't probably let you go back to your sporting activities that you had 20 years ago, but certainly considerably better than you were before the operation, we would hope, in the vast majority of cases. Um, the fact that we now fix the operation with a modern fracture plate is the key, as well as the accuracy of the surgical technique. So we plan it with digital software. We're within a degree or two of the correction, um, which didn't used to be the case and we're able to keep that correction. So in other words, the bone doesn't move afterwards because it's held rigidly with these modern fracture plates, and that's the difference. We also don't need to put them in plaster at all. Because it's fixed rigidly inside, the 
patients bend their knee from day one post-operatively and most of them walk into your clinic at six weeks without the need for crutches. For detailed studies of the osteotomy procedure and how it impacted three Hampshire hospitals' patients, see the osteotomy case study videos in this section of the website.